Wix Forms tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Wix Forms and how you can create custom forms as well. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, I'm over here on Wix and what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new website because I'm going to show you how you can add different forms to your website. Now, when you're actually, you know, creating a new website, you can go ahead and add different, you know, uh, forms straight out within the options so when you go ahead and create a website this is how it's going to look like right so they give you a bunch of different options on what type of website you want to create and what type you want so for now i'm going to skip this section and the next question they're going to ask you what type of you know add-ons do you want to add to your website like over here you can see we already have a forms uh, option right here so if you click this button you can automatically add forms to your website but let's just assume that you know We've already created a website and you didn't add any form. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the template section over here and choose a template and I'm going to add some forms, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on all templates and see all the templates available over here. And I'm just simply going to go ahead and choose a website. So over here, let's just say this is the one that we want. We're going to add like a forms option over here. I mean, it already has it, but we're going to add another one. So let's go ahead and click on edit the site to add the forms. So over here, it's loading up the editor. So I'm going to pause this video right here and catch you guys in a second. All right. So once the editor has loaded up, this is how it's going to look like, right? So this is our website. These are all our options right here. So and this is the form subscription that we already have. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that because we don't need that. We're going to go ahead and create our own custom forms. So what basically, you know, if you're wondering why you would need to add custom forms, well, that's because if you add different forms, like every single form on different pages, then then Wix is going to ask you to go ahead and, you know, uh, upgrade your Ascend account to add more forms. So, but we don't want to do that, right? We want to be able to add forms in the easy way. So there's a workaround that I'm about to show you. So for that, what we're going to need to do is we're going to go ahead and come over here onto the left side and we're going to click on add and over here you will see you have contacts and forms right but we don't want to go into that one we want to go into content manager right here this is the one that we need so what we're going to do is we're going to click on add to site and it's going to add the content manager on our site and there we go and we have a bunch of different templates that we want but we don't have to choose that we're going to go ahead and create our new collection so over here we're going to click on create a collection we're going to call this collection like a submission or something like that and it's going to be multiple items and we're going to click on create and once it's created the content manager form is going to look something like this so over here we're going to have different fields so over here we're going to have to add different fields as well so this is a field and we want to go ahead and click on properties and we want to change it from title to name i'm going to say names over here or and we're going to keep it title key yeah we're going to keep it at that and since this the names are usually text based so we're going to keep it that field type is going to be text and we're going to see and we're going to click on save next we want to create another field and over here we're going to call it emails and over here this is also a text type so we're going to keep it at that and click on save and next we want to have like a phone number or number so we're going to call it numbers right here and then since these numbers are basically number types so we're going to switch it to numbers i'm going to click on save and here we go so now we have these four you know fields you can add other fields as well like for example if you're creating a form for let's say a booking or a resume or people to a hiring form then you can add more fields like you know past job experience uh, uh document form where people can upload their cvs and other stuff and like you can add like a um, another form where you can add different types of fields where you can say like what type of job you're applying to whether it's a chef or a waiter or a barista you know different things but for now we're good with these but you can go ahead and add them later on the process is going to be the exactly the same so you don't have to worry about that so next what we want to do this is an important part so what we want to do is we want to click on these three act buttons right here, the action button. We're going to click over here and click on collection settings. And then what we want to do is want to go into additional settings and we want to change these permission types from of your collection to site content to form submissions. All right. You can see we have other ones as well, but it all depends on you which one you choose. For this particular form, with this particular content, 
we're going to choose form submissions and we're going to click on save and there we go now that that's done what we're going to do is we're going to close this page now what we're going to do is we're going to actually add this stuff so you're going to see you have the content manager app like button right here on the left side we didn't have this before now we do because the content manager is now added to our site now what we're going to do is we're going to again click on the plus icon and now if you scroll down you will see another option called input now this option is now available to us because we have added the content manager this was not added before so this is now available to us then what we want to do is we want to add like these uh, input boxes right here text boxes whatever so for this one I'm gonna add this one right here there we go and then I'm gonna copy that and paste it three times because since we have three fields that we want to edit this one as well I'm gonna move this over here this one as well there we go it's a little cramp so let me just pull these buttons down below and I think that looks nice I'm gonna pull these ones over here or keep it right here next i also want to move these text up up at the top as well right here there we go and i'm going to add a button over here i'm going to say something like like a text field so i'm going to add like a text or like a heading heading number two would look good over here i'm going to keep it centered and over here i'm going to write something along the lines of you know uh get notified and i'll center align them the alignment is going to be centered here we go i'm going to change the fonts to something different because i don't like those fonts particularly like this one looks good no this one is a little bit too big so i do like pop and semi bold so we're going to go with that one there we go i think that looks nice then i'm um, actually let me just this up a little bit more there we go and then i will put the buttons down below over here okay so then what we're going to do is we're going to add a button as well so for that we can add like a standard button it doesn't have to be anything too crazy so a button will do very nicely so i'll just add something like like a nice little button that is round as well like this one so actually this does not fit the overall theme of the website so i'll just add this black button right here and center align it there we go now i'll just simply click over here change the text from button to submit there we go and now what we want to do is we want to click over here go back to content manager and we want to input a form and we want to input a data set right here we're going to click over here this data set is going to be popped up over here now don't worry because this data set will not be shown on the main website only you can see this data site only you can see this icon no one else can so now we're going to click on settings and we're going to configure it to the data set that we chose to the collection that we created so over here we created the submissions we're going to click over that and we're going to change the mode to read and write and i or read or write only yeah i think write only works so then we are good to go next we want to click over here and click on settings and change the placeholder over here placeholder text to full name again with the other one as well this one is going to be a email over here yep that looks good and then for the third one we're going to change it from text only to numbers and in numbers we're going to add the placeholder for numbers there we go now that that's done now we want to link all three of these all four of these to the data set so we click on the field and you will see this link icon so we're going to click on that and we're going to click on submission database which is already collected and then the value we're going to select names because this is the full name one and then we're going to close that we're going to select the second one and we're going to connect it to emails and then again for the third one we're going to select it to numbers and then for the fourth one we're going to select the submit button right here and yeah there we go boom that's done now whenever someone comes onto this website they enter in their email name and number we can see the database so i'm just simply going to save it and i'm going to publish this site 
now let's go ahead and view this website scroll down so as you can see there is no button that was shown so now if we just enter in our name so i'm just simply going to say john marston or whatever john doe and i'll simply add in a fake email and for the numbers i'll just add a random number and just simply click on submit and boom there we go it has been submitted now if we go back over here and we go to the content manager and we click on the submissions form that we created we're going to see all of the data that we just put in so as you can see it works 100 percent so we have the names the emails the numbers so that way you can add more fields as you you know required and then you are good to go so that's how you basically create a custom forms on a wix website so that is it for this video guys thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye